The medical marijuana debate is making a return. Lawmakers are taking the issue head on in Annapolis today. And here to tell us more about it is Mike Menno with the Marijuana Policy Project. Mike, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. So what, is, what are you looking to do with this new legislation? What this bill would do is it would provide patients with safe access to marijuana like any other medicine. And they would have to be qualified patients with certain conditions and they would have to access the marijuana only with their doctor's recommendation. What's the opposition you're facing? I know in the past um, there's been similar bills trying to legalize marijuana. What's the opposition sure. you're facing? Well, right now medical marijuana is legal in 14 states. New Jersey was the most recent to pass it. The District of Columbia has also passed medical marijuana laws. And the secret to this is medical marijuana is not as controversial as people actually think. A, a poll last week by ABC and the Washington Post showed that 81% of Americans nationally support medical marijuana laws. So. Um, you know, we haven't seen any opposition yet. It's still early. The bill's being introduced, but we'll see. Okay, and right now, Maryland does have uh, some type of law in the books. Right? Maryland has a limited defense. Right now, um, if uh, a patient is found with marijuana, they can be arrested, and if they prove a medical uh, defense in court, they can walk away with a $100 fine, but they still have a criminal conviction on their record, and that could complicate their life in terms of employment, government benefits, child support, a whole range of issues. So what we're trying to do is protect these patients from arrest and criminal prosecution and also give them a safe means of uh, getting this medicine. Right now there's no uh, system set up that would provide them with marijuana. They're forced to go to the streets, they're forced to buy from drug dealers, they're forced to put themselves in more danger just by trying to access this safe medicine. Okay, okay. Um, now I understand Senator Brinkley is um, sponsoring, he's co-sponsoring this bill and he himself is a cancer survivor. That's right. Okay, and, and what is his take on this issue? Uh, well, uh, cancer... I mean, it's helped him. He, no, he has not used it. He, right, he, but... He, but he has, well, he says as a, as a cancer patient, you know the pain that uh, is associated often with the treatment, especially chemotherapy, mm -hmm. the nausea, the vomiting that can result from it. And what uh, a growing number of studies and patient testimonies have told us is that marijuana can be a safe and effective treatment for everything from the chemotherapy uh, cancer patients undergo to the spasticity and seizures suffered by multiple sclerosis patients. Got it. So all we're trying to do is make sure that this medicine uh, is available to patients who need it, who could benefit from it with a doctor's recommendation, and also that they don't face criminal prosecution simply for trying to get better and in many cases save their lives. Wonderful. And there are 14 states right now where 14 it's states. legal. That's right. Tell us how it's working in those states. Uh, the laws are uh, working well. They enjoy popular support. Many states have actually gone back to either the ballot booth or their state legislator and expanded the laws. Uh, for example, Maine in November, uh, in 2000, Maine passed a medical marijuana law. In November, voters went back to the polls, decided to expand the list of conditions for which patients could be recommended marijuana, and they've also set up uh, dispensary systems that will provide patients with safe access to the marijuana. Okay, so I know this bill has in been introduced before and it's been defeated. What, are the new, what do you think the chances are this year? Well, uh, this is an issue uh, that public sentiment is increasingly getting behind. As I mentioned, we have more than 80% support nationally, and I, I can't emphasize enough how incredible that is, uh, you know, especially in this day and age. Think of any other uh, issue that 81% of Americans actually agree on and support. So um, I think as people become more educated about the issues, and also as they... Uh, uh, look into their own experiences. You know, anyone who's had a relative who suffered from cancer or AIDS or MS or glaucoma or any number of the diseases that can benefit from the medicinal use of marijuana, do you really want to deprive that vomiting cancer patient from an effective treatment that could ease their nausea, that could make them feel better, that could keep them on their, on their uh, medication longer? Um, you know, it's, it's really hard to argue with that. Okay. All right, Mike. Thank you so much for joining us Thanks today. Thanks for having me. Okay.